very good morning from what could potentially be the most challenging day of the trip so far. We've made our way to Happy Valley here in Shanghai. Hello. And here is Mr. Alex no, coming no, it's, it's, it's been a good start to the morning, hasn't it? Hasn't it? But... We're quite a long way from Disney. We're around, driving-wise, give or take, with, it, with traffic and stuff, it's about an hour's drive. However, uh, you can get here by the metro. We haven't actually done that today, as we know that it's quite a long journey on the metro. Hello. Quite a long journey on the metro, and also there's a 20 minute walk uh, from the metro station. But I do think, from looking at signs, there is some sort of bus. God, they talk so fast. There's some sort of bus what will bring you here, but we haven't gone for that. We went for a private shuttle today. Uh, but like I say, it's about an hour's journey. It's not cost us too much really to get that shuttle. But here we are at Happy Valley. Yeah, we've been. Uh, yeah, it's already, this feels very sort of the first day of the trip where we're a bit more exposed to it all, aren't we, I think? I feel like I'm in Labyrinth or something. Something's, something's not quite right. Yeah, I mean, no one here speaks English. None of the staff do that we've interacted Google with so Translate far. Google Translate is going to be Yeah, Google Translate, Translate and we'll... Uh, mentioned the app again basically we mentioned it right back at the start in our travel vlog uh, but basically if you download Google Translate um, you can either hover it over things and it'll change it for you or you can literally just type in what you want to say uh, and then use it and then they'll use it back and yeah, it's to, very very good to do that. Yeah. as long as when you have internet and you download the app to download the countries you're going to need for that trip the languages shall I say but overall we're going to have a really good day here today at Happy Valley I mean this looks really quite nice actually very authentic a very typical Chinese amusement park that I can't wait to see. We've got some big coasters to get on today and some big water rides and flats it seems as well, uh, including a Sheikra clone called Dive Coaster. Yay! Most imaginative names. We're going to be getting on an Intamin Megalite as well. Uh, which looks quite cool. There's which a big cool. wooden roller coaster to get on, mega light. <laughs> uh, there's a wooden roller coaster to get on, uh, some water rides, some flats. It looks like we're going to have a good day. Um, so, yeah, Happy Valley, welcome. It looks like there's some sort of event going on today as well with all the extra stuff what there is, all the branding. Same over here as well. It's going to be a very, very interesting day. But I'm looking forward to it. Here's a little look at the park map then for Happy Valley. So you can see just down there, we're at the main entrance. This is like your main entrance street. And you've got the main lake in the middle, which has got some sort of nighttime show on it that we will be staying for tonight. There's the wooden roller coaster just there. Dive coaster at the top. You've got an Intamin gyro swing in there as well, which I believe is one of the large versions, much like Loki over at Leesburg. Got a Zamperla disco in there, some sort of water log flume there, water ride. Show venue at the top. That looks like the mega light just there, which I've heard good things about. Something else down here, some sort of mine train coaster. A couple of flats, looks like a bit of a top spin in there. That looks like it could be a Mondale top scan. It's going to be very, very interesting. None of this map here is actually in English. But we can see what we're looking at here. There you go. Long to Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, Florida. So we're here in line to buy our tickets for Happy Valley. Because I couldn't navigate the website, we're to buy on the door today. 230 to get in, which I believe that's around 28, 29 quid, something like that. Back end of the 20s, so not too bad for how many rides we're going to get. We've got a bit of Chinese head cheering on here as well, haven't we? Boys own us, I mean. I just... <laughs> sha, sha, you gotta shine on me. It is very strange. It's what we wanted to see, though. I don't think anyone's going to speak English here at all, to be honest. Neither do I think I'm going to be able to get fish and chips. Or oh, Alex, milk, soya milk. Reading. Opening times will change without prior notice. The park will be closed temporarily for renewal. I can renewal? Uh, surplus of tourists, bad weather or special events. Nice. It's going to get renewed while we're here. Hey, I this know. is that. Uh, I like this song. This is going to be the best day of my Probably the weirdest day of my life, not going to lie. I reckon so. Got busy though now. version of Mickey Avenue, H3 USA, whatever you want to call it, the Park Entrance Street. This looks very nice, very pretty, very colourful. 
Shanghai. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this, very, very nice. We've got a little market still set up. Look at these big fans, look at this. Look at those. Happy penguin. Pizza up. There's, a, there's also a KFC here from looking at the map, which is good to see. Pizza up my saviour. Very nice. Oh, it's got some magic for us, though. Magic classroom. Ah, magic shot. This one's for Harry. Harry turns down. Let's do that and see if we get a quick out of this. Oh, there we go. Love it. There's KFC. Hello, happy day. And here's the park. Wow. Oh my god. This looks quite good. Wow. That big structure you can see there in the middle, that big tower, that's something to do with the new nighttime show. God, the wooden coaster looks great. How you got? And I have a clue where I'm going, so I'm gonna have to consult the map. But well, I think we'll do right. Wow, very nice. Happy time. Look at that, really nice view of the wooden roller coaster. Nice location for it as well, next to this river. That could be like the mine coaster or something over there as well. It's very nice, isn't it? Very picturesque park. Now, when you go to a theme park in the UK, you normally talk about getting like a lot of towers, town, and direct manor town. Shanghai town, that. Shanghai town. That's a, place to go. <laughs> That's a good one. Just having a little look round, really, just having an explore. So, as I mentioned, they have got a dive coaster here, which is called Dive Coaster, and it is an exact clone of Shikra. Nice little street car there. Oh, that's quite nice. This is the most sort of oriental part we've seen so far on I the whole trip. I bring one of those big pointy hands back with me as well. You can see the oh, yeah. Big one like that. Yeah. Look at Old Shanghai. Yeah, it's nice. It's got a very sort of authentic feel to it. Yeah, see you again. Very nice. Good old Shikra, good coaster. You can get really nice up close and personal as a diving coaster. However, we're a bit concerned, we've just seen a sign out the front what says temporarily closed. There is a few English signs about, which is quite surprising actually. But it seems like this park again doesn't really get into life until a little bit later on. I hope it gets into uh, life. Yeah. <laughs> so far, my impressions are strange. I mean, it's very weird. It's got some nice sort of theming in areas, and then there's other areas where it's just really blank, and it's really weird. You can actually hire these to go round, and you can literally sit on the back, and they'll take you round to the different rides and areas. Very strange. It looks like they've got some sort of nighttime illuminations around the park as well, which are fastened up everywhere. I'm not even LED. But yeah, it's very weird. It's still got the water spice though, Shikra. Wow, very, very interesting. This is what we wanted to see on this trip though, not just the Disney parks and all, all that, that well, very Americanized culture. Park, yeah. yeah, with this, it's, uh, it's very strange, different, it? yeah. yeah. It is strange. I can't see any rides going yet, so I, I'm not too concerned yet about the dive coaster. God, this, is, this place has got a really weird vibe about it, it really has. Very strange vibe. Don't think the rapids is going to be in operation today. Looking at the boats. Forever again. <laughs> I think a word to describe this park is a little bit abandoned, isn't it? It's... I've seen haunted prisons less scary than that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know like on Facebook and stuff when things pop up and it's like abandoned theme park in China? This does feel kind of like that. It's like this is open, well, <laughs> open. <laughs> it's early days yet. I'm not going to be put off. And this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to come and experience these different parks. But I was kind of hoping for some open rides, if I'm being honest. We'll find out. These are very pretty, though. In 24 years on this planet, this is the weirdest I've ever felt. Not gonna lie. It's tough night, man, isn't it? <laughs> the audio is really not helping. It's probably like something. Chinese like Shakira or something. My part time lover. So, like, the theming looks good. Like, this ride looks quite decent, whatever it is. This is a big rock. Best name for a roller coaster ever. It's an Intamin Megalite, and it's actually called Megalite. 
Now, even though this park has an amazing nighttime show, supposedly, anyway, if it opens at nine o'clock tonight. And it's still open, yeah. by the way. It's not been closed down for uh, ride availability. Some of the rides, 10.30 until 5.30. So even though quite a lot of the rides seem to shut at 5.30, they want everybody to wait about for this nighttime show. It's very, very weird park. I can't say I'm very impressed at the uh, moment. Can you just make sure you do not stretch any part of your body out of the equipment, please. <laughs> the equipment. <laughs> what is it, a gym? I do like this though. Mega light was one of the smoothest coast to rise in the world. Why is it facts? Appropriate shoes are required and slippers are not permitted. So if you no, it's it's felt like going to a boot park in your slippers. <laughs> coast of train of 16 riders to a height of 32 meters. As a special treat, just a special treat on this one. Short steep hills near the end of the ride create a continuous bouncing sensation. <laughs> Riders are liberated from traditional shoulder harnesses and free to feel more thrills with the specially designed lap bars. That sounds amazing. We are going to get later on, Alex, a special treat from Happy Valley and a bouncing sensation. That's what everybody wants. This is some really impressive theming, actually. Really nice around here. <laughs> Gift shop. And that's the gift shop. <laughs> ah, top quality merchandise. God, this place is strange. Don't think I've ever come to a park for the first time and going to a gift shop before actually going on a ride. But... Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this staff member is not very happy who's on the phone. She's not happy, is she? She is. <laughs> Oh, we've got, yeah, we've got a little. Oh, I like this. Give it a blow. Oh, oh. oh. there's a handle. Oh, it makes more sense than the theme music outside. <laughs> on that note, let's go and find a ride. Well, no matter what we think of Happy Valley, this is definitely an up-and-coming theme park resort because it's got a massive water park as well. Looks very closed, but it's a player mayor water park. Do you fancy a ride on the crazy elves? The crazy elves. <laughs> Slightly insulting, I'd say, to her. Santa's workers. And here it is, Happy Ocean. Now, this is something I'm very much looking forward to because there is a unique ride at this park. I don't know if Alex knows about it or not. Nothing. How many B&Ms did you think there was at this park? One. One, which was the Sheikra yeah, dive Shikra coaster thing. Like. You're wrong. There's two. However, come look at this. This is a very different B&M. It's actually the only B&M roller coaster in the world designed for families. What? And that was the reason I wanted to come to this park. Right. That was the real reason. You conned me. Because it's around this corner here, and it's actually a two-seater, like two per row, B&M coaster. A bit like an SLC. It's a suspended. And there it is. Wow. A family B&M inverted That's coaster. Gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah. Very impressive. And this was the main reason for coming here. This was the I ride, the really. thing about the being one somewhere in the world. Yeah, this is it. it. Only opened a few years ago. Gosh. Yeah, look at this. Incredible. Now this is really sad because the family inverted coaster, which was the main reason for coming to this park for me, annual inspection. It's not good. Temporary clothes. I mean, so far, let's be honest now, I know we have a laugh and a joke and stuff, but what we've seen so far, it's not looking good for this park in terms of lots of staggered openings. We're not even too sure. It looks like the dive coaster could be the same, but yeah, I'm good about this. Like Alex just pointed out, the trains are completely stripped down yeah, in the station. Right the station. And we got one of the trains just there. That one's completely stripped down there. Look, part right the side. That ain't opening today. And that makes me very, very sad because this was one of the main reasons for coming to ride this family b &M. Wow, I think, uh, yeah, we're not in for a good day, it seems, at the moment. Maybe we should have gone to Shanghai Disney for another day. On a more positive note, Alex, what was your 100th roller coaster again? Flying fish. At Thought Park. Well, we can go on it here, look, flying fish. Whee! Oh, wait, it's not a coaster, it's a flat ride, which is so closed at the moment. 
Optimi I, I would have really level. liked to have done this. Optimism level for the part of gone like, ooh. <laughs> I mean, it's so strange, but look at this. I mean, that helix was really good. What a shame. It's such a shame because this park has got some really nice theming, like this gold mine area. Really nice. This song doesn't help us. <laughs> the sunshine away. Look at this though. It is really nice. It's so weird. It's such a shame. You got City all down the bottom there as well. KFC Train track. There. KFC again. Oh, gold mine magic theatre there. Western Cowboy. Right, I'm really starting to get a bit angry now. We've just come around the corner to the mine train coaster, and this looks great, doesn't it? It looks amazing. This looks like a really Incredible. good coaster. Bear in mind, this was the park of the trip with the most credits for us to get. System maintenance, temporarily closed. So it far, does say temporarily, though, so... Well, three of the four coasters we've seen are closed. I mean, annual maintenance means a length of Well, we haven't time. seen one coaster going round yet. The woody looks like it's going to open, doesn't it? there's a big but, queue waiting, but... Wow. But we can't... It's definitely not going yet, because we've not heard it. But well, this looks brilliant, this does. I didn't get it, the park is really big and there's some really nice themed areas, but ride availability, you know me, I always try and be positive. It's quite weird actually how we, we've got this today because in the last vlog that we did at Shanghai Disneyland yesterday, I said at the end, you know, about how I always try to look at the positives of parks, but at the moment with this, we really are struggling with this one. And I always do things honestly and review things, and with this one at the moment, I wouldn't waste your time even trying to attempt to come here because this is the day what we could have gone somewhere else or and, and spent time visiting another park and that's the sad bit for us on this trip really because this is the day we could have either gone back to shanghai disneyland or gone to another park and added that day on in japan so we could have gone to universal or something yeah look at that i mean what a shame big fence going up around that all being closed off. It looks like the start of some sort of work taking place on that. I'm really disappointed, guys. Not gonna lie, I'm really, really quite disappointed. More the fact we could have spent this day somewhere else, either here in China or an extra day in Japan. It's this is it's sad. It really is. Ride is going round at Happy Valley, Shanghai. Oh my right, God. Right, we are actually gonna get some, we're gonna spice this vlog up a bit now. Let's get going and try and at least get on something. Either we ride that thing 23 we've, times. We've just seen the water ride as well with some water running down the trough. So hopefully, we're just gonna go on what's open and make the most of it. Yes, we're still disappointed, but you guys don't wanna sit here watching us be miserable. We're gonna make the most of it. We've got a coaster open. We've got some shows and stuff to see. We're going to make the best of today. We've had a brilliant trip so far. We're going to let this ruin it, are we, team? Oh, we'll give it a go. Right, we're going on our first ride of the day. It's been about 40 minutes since I last spoke to you guys, and we decided to have something to eat. We thought we'll make the most of the time while things are staggered opening and get some food. So we're getting on this haunted house. I assume it's a ghost train of some form. I know it doesn't sound very intimidating, does it? We're actually going on a ride at Happy Valley. <laughs> They look quite good. Hello! Hey. Woody, theme park worldwide on YouTube. You gotta watch it. Okay. YouTube. I know you're, I know you're not allowed YouTube. I don't know. But yeah, get, get yourself a VPN and get on YouTube. Theme park worldwide. Okay. It's really strange. This is like some sort of walkthrough. I haven't really been able to film much because I can't really see a lot, to be honest. <laughs> It's pitch black. That's a thing. Alex was a little bit scared in there. He had his hand on his shoulder like this. He was shaking a little bit. A bit of a potty mouth as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I only really showed you that little clip because I could not see hardly anything in there. Pitch black. No actors or anything like that. A bit of a boring walkthrough, really. It looked like it was a B and M bargains, to be honest, during the Halloween season. You can see but DMX, yeah, it was DMX all right. Boxes. Yeah, it was okay. It lasted about what five minutes. 
Now that sign says happy time, meaning a happy time at Happy Valley. And so far, we've not really had one until this point. Is that all right on YouTube? <laughs> you can actually hire mobility scooters to go around the park. <laughs> and they've got... Why not brave? they got, got Christmas tins along, look at this. <laughs> what the hell? I love it. Best thing ever. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna make it entertaining somehow, come on. Welcome to Theme Park Worldwide on Parade. Let's go. Let's find some more rides that are open. <laughs> well, this is the parade. Yeah, this is the parade at Theme Park Worldwide. Say hello. Hello, Theme Park Worldwide Parade. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, parade. <laughs> Off he goes, launching. Mickey Mouse. This Mickey Mouse. I wish. Hey, that's my side of the sun, Tomma. Yeah, that's the one. What the hell is he doing? He <laughs> wanted a selfie with him. Very good, very good. This way to the parade. That way. Bye. Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> it's mine now, George, sucker. George. To the BM dive coaster name. So you do realise I can dive walk, coaster. I can walk faster than you. <laughs> the dive coaster is fine. After that bit of fun, we're actually about to go on a coaster now. One of the most anticipated ones at the park, actually. Luckily, I mean, we've already done the diving coaster at Sheikra, obviously, uh, over at Busch Gardens, so I'm not too fussed about that. But we are going to get on this Intamin Megalite, which is a bit more unique to this park. Shame about the diving coaster here, though, isn't it? Oh, you're right there. <laughs> Shame about the diving coaster here. That's the same as uh, the family B&M, isn't it? Like you say, maybe B&M are out here doing some work or who knows, but we're going to make the most of it. We had a good laugh, that mobility scooter. I got the key. <laughs> More to come. He's got the keys, he's got the secret. Let's get on board. It's been Megalite. Off we go then, our Megalite. Some really nice views. Hopefully we're going to get some airtime. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh, look at the view. Jeez, on this. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Bunny hell. Bunny hell. Bunny hell. Wow. Now that kind of made up for everything. Whoa, that was very good. Wow. That was amazing. So we just come off the Intamin Megalite, called Megalite, and that was actually really good. That more than made up for coming to this park actually today. I really, really enjoyed that. Then about uh, Mr. Scooter yeah, I, down here. I, I bet you're glad you actually took the camera up. Just down. Yeah, I know, yeah, it's down. It's I mean, I thought that was a brilliant coaster. I loved it. No, I've never done one before, so it's nice to get on one. Yeah, I've never done it. Really smooth in spare time. That's what 13 could have been. I mean, the lifting on that is probably about the same height as 13. Just guess. I don't know my stats about the rides here, uh, but yeah. It was really good, it was a well-paced coaster, full of airtime and some really insane G-forces. Of course it uses one of those sort of catch car lift hills what Intervin likes to use, where it takes you up to the top, 
uh, and then releases you towards the back of the train. Oh my God. I mean, when me and Alex went on, we were second row from the back. I just went round again because the queue was practically the walk on uh, and got a back row. So much airtime. Uh, when it got down to the bottom of that first drop, it banked straight round to the right. And you got some really, really good positive G, uh, which was fantastic. I really like that. In terms of other elements on the ride, a couple of helixes. And the best part, in my opinion, the three bunny hops at the end where you got loads of airtime, as you saw from the on-ride footage. A really well-paced coaster. And it was very enjoyable. I really liked that. And it's just a shame that I just don't think this park at the moment deserves to have a ride like that. I think it was really, really good. And I wish it was a, a bit of a nicer park, really. Uh, but I did enjoy that. I think it was a very, very good coaster. Um, yeah, one of the best. I'd class it as a, a thrill ride, that. I wasn't expecting it to feel quite like that, but it did. It was uh, quite intense, that was. Looking forward to seeing what else the park has offered. That's what we've got for the starting place. Of yeah, and we've got uh, Rapids around here. I mean, we love a good Rapids, so... Yeah, I think we... Uh, yeah, he's harnessed up nicely, isn't he? I think we get on the Rapids around here somewhere. Like I say, we'll go around the park, get on the rides we can do. Just make the most of it, really. But yeah, into me Megalite. It was worth coming for that. I feel happy that we've come now to see that. So that's a good start. Some of the most generic names for rides I've ever seen at this park. Rapid River. And believe it or not, it's actually open. Me and Alex both thought this wasn't going to operate. But it is open. Even though you've got all these half of boats, which are just sat here without any tyres on, it is actually operating this Rapids, which is crazy. But yeah, Rapid River, could they not come up with some better names? And it's like the Disco Coaster over there, Zampilla Disco, which is called Disco Coaster. Could they not come up with some better names? It's had a bit of roof landed on his head. We're having a good laugh, it's funny, it really is. It's a very humid day today as well, quite hot. Shame we're not going to get Dive Coaster. Called Dive Coaster. What? Here in the queue line. Off we go. On the rapids. <laughs> this reminds me of a rapids that I've done somewhere before. Having the little handlebars there and seat belts on this rapids as well. It's a weird park, isn't it? It's very strange, but I'm just glad we're actually getting some rides in now. We're doing all right and we're showing you guys the park. Really nice landscape actually around this rapids, and it's the boats are really low, meaning the water can get in. Shooting out the, the drains as well. Yeah, this is going to be a wet rapids, I think. Which uh, bushes ready for you? Oh, they <laughs> trim your bush. Oh my god, look at this. Really good. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Starts off quite slow this one. Here we go. This is the start of it now. I feel very exposed on these boats. I can't quite remember where I've done one with the boats like this before. I've not done many. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those. Are you all right? I'm good. No damage. It's quite a nice theme in. They run the rides really strange here. I mean, it's like on the, they love these microphones, like karaoke mic, like you saw earlier on with the little horror house walk. DJ, but yeah. nothing. <laughs> I don't want to rock. I don't want to DJ. Run <laughs> oh my god, you got a big wave oh. coming up behind. Here we go, it's picking up a bit oh, now. No. Oh. No. <laughs> KFC Mega Wave, quite literally here as well, it's KFC. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Plenty of rocks. I really like how well themed the trough is all the way around the outside. No, I mean, it's okay in terms of theming and feel, Terrible. but. No, it's, uh, yeah, landscaping's really nice around it. That's a plus thing. Plus thing. Can't even see the intervene gyro swing in operation, which uh -oh. is a shame. Behind you! Whoa! Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, How's your camera? Is it all right? Oh my god. Whoa! Here we go. That was a good water effect. What was that? Oh my god. I think you have to pay for them though, so I don't think they will. Don't pay for the guns, oh. the rubbish, they don't work! Wow. Hello. Hello. Hey, have a good day, boys. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, hoi there, oh, shipmates. What? Is that going to turn off? It has to. I hope that turns off. No. What the hell? Oh, oh my good. god. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're quite expecting that. <laughs> Not the best rappers I've done, but some nice effects on there. 
Excuse me, sir, you, you can't come this way, the path's closed, you have to go that way. <laughs> I'm only joking, it's open now. Hey, off he goes. <laughs> yeah, rap is not the best I've done. Some good effects on there. I was getting a bit concerned for the GoPros live when we got to the end there. Bear in mind I haven't got the waterproof case on it today. I was a bit concerned when we got to that waterfall. But apart from that, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was okay rapids, some good theming around there. It's quite a relaxing sort of lazy river in places. But yeah, it was okay. I quite enjoyed it. It's always good to do things for a first time. And like I say, at least we are getting on some stuff now. So Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> I still can't believe he's gonna spend his hard-earned money on a mobility scooter. <laughs> some nice viewpoints in this park actually though, when you look at the dive coaster. It does look very nice from various angles in the park. Donuts! Donuts! Whereabouts? I am hungry. So. All the Chinese find it amazing. They all want photos. Yeah. <laughs> it is definitely a parade. They all want photos, but Alex, I don't think it's because they recognise you from YouTube. I don't think it is. Yeah. I think it's because there's a fat man on a mobility scooter from England and I love it. <laughs> it's actually turned out to be a very funny day and we're having a good time, we are now. It's... I've started serious, but is it going to end serious? I don't think so. Is it? How? Off it goes to the next ride. Back, Max Speed, Max Speed. Max Spielman. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. I like your pink sausage. Very nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Now this is quite cool. Look at this. It's actually made of helium balloons all the way up. Wow. And how often they have to remake that? That's crazy. That is all. All of it balloons. God, someone's put a lot of time and effort into that. Wow. Oh my God. Look at the feeling inside here. Yeah, I didn't quite expect this. Oh wow, look at this, this is beautiful. What a children's area. What? <laughs> oh, this is lovely, look at this. Loads like little kids flat rides and things in here. Wonder if there's any dark rides as well, actually. Oh, this is really pretty. Characters. Now this is nice, isn't it? Characters are just here as well. Being a bear. Is that all made of balloons as well, though? All made of balloons. Yeah, it was out the front there if you saw it. Hello. Ah, hello. Wow, all made of balloons. That's amazing. A Christmas themed dark ride, but there's one problem. For this one, there's no operator. <laughs> Hello? I think I could have a go. Hello? Operator, ride operator. Hello? Is there a ride operator here, please? He said it was open, didn't it? What are the opening times? I'm sure he said it was open now. 10.30 till 5. See if I can find an operator. <laughs> Hello, anyone? We've got a map of the uh, layout up there, though. Hello, anyone? Hello. I've never been to a theme park like this before. There's some gorgeous areas and there's some awful problems here as well. But, yeah. There is no operator, but he's got a nice clock there, nice pink clock. Look at that. Here's Willie Ride Files. Um, that's Willie's clock, that is. Willie's clock there. We got yeah. Willie, you got Sally, and you got little Weezer over there on the end. <laughs> It is our operator. We found him. Where was he, Alex? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Looked sort like he was walking around in a uniform. Could be with your friend Simon for all I know. I don't know. Well, as long as he knows how to push buttons, we're all right. Christmas themed art ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. From Pirates of the Caribbean to this. What the hell? It's an interactive shooting dart ride. It works, right? Where nothing moves. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sounds like a clown's nose, that does. What the hell is this? Packed 
Pirates with animatronics, as you can tell. Who needs pirates? What the hell? Uh-oh, probably the best scene in the ride so far here. Oh my god. I've never known a place quite like this, I really haven't. What are we shooting? But I am quite enjoying it now, we are having a good laugh. Welcome home, Sally Willy Weezer. <laughs> it's a nice tree. I've seen those trees before. I don't think you can think I need to share my review of that ride. Oh, we've got, got a different pirate. operator now. Oh. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> oh my god. Where was she hiding? I'm crying. <laughs> Old jellyfish in here as well. To be honest, this is a really nice indoor area and there's a really good selection of flat rides in here, which I'm sure are a lot better than the dark ride. Quite a few Zampirla dark rides I've seen. Yeah, I mean, I really do love the indoor area of Fantasy Island. I mean, I don't think there's a comparison on that. Uh, it's where it is now, anyway. But... Some of the theme elements yeah. Really nice. yeah, it does, definitely. I think we can have a little walk through here, look. Jellyfish World. Oh, that's quite nice. They loved it. It's very impressive. Never seen so many jellyfish. All nice lights in the ceiling. It's very strange, this place, because they kind of know what they're doing with a lot of things, and theming especially. Uh, but it's just really weird how operations and certain things just aren't great. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad if they had at least advertised it on the website and said that the coasters were going to be down for maintenance. The fact that they weren't advertised at all, I don't think it's very good, really. I mean, you got this suspended monorail, another ride that I would like to have done. And that looks closed. Basically, all the rides that I wanted to do seem to be closed. Suspended monorail, closed by the looks of it. Very nice, I like it. Let's go on there now. I think it's closed, mate. Big play area. Do you reckon they employ someone just to do balloon animals and balloon things? I don't want to get excited, but hopefully this will okay. That was close. System maintenance temporarily closed again. Really? Wow. System maintenance. 60. Credit where credit's due. They do some really good theme in here. And to be honest, there's a lot of rides. Especially for families, there is so much stuff going on. Ah, oh, no, you're not going to get me, I'm going to stand back. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of rides here, especially for families and children, which is really, really good to see. I mean, normally with these parks, you get a lot of thrill rides, you're not really loads of family stuff, so at least they have catered for that element of it. It's going to be controversial to say it looks better than Valhalla, in my opinion. Whoa! <laughs> this is a bit like the splash battle, what you've got over at Flamingo Land in Yorkshire, and we are actually going there when we come back. Yeah, one of the cheaper ones. Not a Mac, this, unfortunately. Wow, you can tell we're in China. Look at this. You can even hire these different robots here. Look at those. I'd love to see those in action, wouldn't you? Look amazing, lady. Wow. Look at those. You've got these round ones here and the actual robots there. Wow. 
Now this is a very nice themed area of the park. This is the last sort of area that we need to see. And look at this, it's basically a shoot the shoot ride, which is actually called Shoot the Shoot. Whee! And here it comes. <laughs> and it's basically a tidal wave from Thorpe Park. Well, the best thing about this area is, it has also got a Mondal Top Scan next door. The day gets better, there's a Mondal Top Scan with theming. It's like a very Amity Cove themed area, this actually. It reminds me very much of Thorpe Park. It's got a right Thorpe Park vibe about it around here. Of course, still got the park's wooden roller coaster to ride. Chinese fireball over there. It's actually got a proper name, that one. Wow, it's a really nice themed area. Like Fisherman's Cove style theme. Really good. The park looks really, really cool. I've never actually done a Mondal top spin before. I've done plenty of Mondal top scans, but I've always done Hus top spins. And if I've never done one, then I'm sure you've never done one. So this should be good fun. This is like a really good flat ride. And to be honest, this is a really nice themed area of the park. You've got the lake in the middle. That's where the nighttime show will be. And you've got a brilliant the wooden coaster in the background. Virtually, I've ridden many of them. Virtually, yeah. person? No. No, no, not neither have I. This one's really cool. Like I said, we used the Hus versions. It doesn't look quite as intense, but we'll uh, give it a go. Off we go on this Mondale top spin. Seems really strange saying that. Really nice views. But the one problem with this is we've got this big bar in front of us, which isn't quite as good. That's a good sensation. I like that. It's quite slow moving. Really nice views from this. It's like a ripsaw on a slow yeah. setting. Nice and smooth though. <laughs> Shame the fountains are just there for decor. Oh my god. Wow. I do quite like this actually. I think it's quite good. Look at that, how they spin over and swap. That's quite cool. Look at that. That's a view now. Oh my god. Oh, I enjoyed that. Just long enough on the hold there. You won't wait to be any much more longer than that, I don't think. Oh. Got a nice view of the wooden coaster. <laughs> Upside down. And there we go, end of the cycle. Not too long, that one. Sequence three. Enjoyed that, though. A bit different. I actually really enjoyed that. I've always wanted to do one of those versions, and yeah, I enjoyed it. I still prefer the classic Hus Top Spins, uh, but that wasn't a bad ride at all. I'm glad we uh, got that one in. We got some good rides now. I mean, we got Mega Light, we got the Rapids, we got that. Yeah, we had the Christmas Dart ride that wasn't quite as good. But one thing they have got here is one of my favourite ever flat rides, a Mondale Top Scan. And here it is. It's called Cyclone. You're not coming on this one, are you? So I will uh, see you on the other side, then we'll go on the shoot the shoot, I reckon, while we're in this area. I will uh, see you shortly.
come off Storm Chaser, then one of the many rides here that does actually have a name. <laughs> it was really, really good, I enjoyed that. And after a closer inspection, I'm not too sure if that's actually a Mondale top scan. Definitely a top scan, but I'm not sure if it's Mondale. If it's not, I'd be very surprised because that one there, uh, the little top from what we just did splash over, that's a Mondale because it's got the plaque on it. That hasn't got the plaque on it, and from here, it looks just like a Mondale top scan. However, if I just show you this clip on your screen just now, uh, a little zoom in just there on the seats, and you can see the restraints are very, very different to that of other Mondale top scans. So I'm not too sure there with that one. I'm sure I'll be able to find out when I've got some internet. But uh, yeah, it's uh, very, very good though. That was the most intense ride I've had yet of the Asia Mega Trip. Really, really good. One of the best ones of those I've done. In fact, it's given me a bit of a headache, that one. It was a bit. Uh, bit intense, it was good. It's good though, I liked it, maybe because I'm used to slow rides and dark rides so far this trip. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that intense, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Alex has got his milk, and he's still got this stupid trolley thing. Stupid trolley, it's a mobility scooter, come on. When are you going to give it back? Have you ever watched Mad John Benidorm? I have watched Mad John Benidorm, but I think we need a water ride, a major water ride. I must point out the theming around here is top notch. They really know what they're doing when it comes to theming. You can obviously tell this is one of the newer areas as well. We've done a lot of just details everywhere. It's very, very nice. To be honest, we're having a lot better day than we originally first thought. The first hour of the day, we were a bit like, Ugh. now it's really picked up. It just goes to show, don't judge a book by its cover. Wait until you see everything. Yes, there is still quite a few rides closed, but we're having a good day and we are enjoying it so far. And Alex just completely knocked into that stand, man. <laughs> he just knocked into that. <laughs> <laughs> fish, anyone? Any fish? Is that? I have a treat for you. Go on. Follow me. How was your life? Smoking hot light bulb. Whoa, look at that. Wow, light bulbs. Very cool. Yeah, I love it. Right, let's go and shoot the shoot. Just a little safety reminder for you. This project is not set store content arc. Please place your belongings in your side. <laughs> Please do not double shoulder before and after. Please take that in mind before you ride. All I'm going to say is Google Translate, welcome to the Shoot the Shoot project. So off we go on board Shoot the Shoots, which is a Shoot the Shoots attraction. <laughs> You're right there. Wake up, Alex. Some very nice theming in this area. Definitely my favourite themed area of the park. The Wild West area looks quite nice though as well. That's having a look around there. And of course, we've still got the wooden roller coasters to do, which is operational. Do you reckon it's better than Treasure Cove in uh, Shanghai Disney? No, it's not. <laughs> but this is very nice. I think it's better than Amity Cove at Thorpe Park. I mean, it does feel like whoever designed this park went over there to Thorpe and, and looked at it because it's very, very similar. And the fact they've got a shoot the shoot attraction in here as well. Nice theme in, like a little fisherman's town. Be nice if there was a few more little bits around the buildings. It's like they've got one of the layers, but they just need some of the other layers now. And maybe don't store things in windows when you can see them from attractions. That's Christmas in there. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if there was a few animatronics, maybe a bit of fisherman's audio. Well, yeah, and it's going to send us through the maintenance shed as well. Takes <laughs> so time, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Close look at your boats there. Hardly any queues here today though, which is good. And surprising as well with how much is actually closed. Same sort of style drop as on Tidal Wave and up we go. This looks really nice on the outside. And I said to Alex earlier on, I wonder what theming there is inside there. Well, here's the answer. A warehouse full of water by the looks of it. Still no LED lighting. I think we're going to get soaked. Oh, wow. What a view. Look at that. Thought Park Resort. Stealth over there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's just a, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. And we're not even going to get wet here. <laughs> oh. That's very well designed. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Hello. Oh, great. No. Come on. We can't get wetter than this now. Yes, we can. There we go. 
That was a really good shoot the shoe. Enjoyed that. <laughs> I really enjoyed shoot the shoot. I thought it was a really good attraction. It's just a shame there's no theming when you're going up the left hill at the start. Uh, but apart from that, I thought it was really good. I am loving the theming in this area though. It kind of reminds me in a way of some of the areas at SeaWorld in Orlando and San Diego actually, as a matter of fact. That was really good though down there. It really does. Theming's very good. Virtual reality arcade, is that in you? VR. 9D apparently. How the hell can you get 9D? I'm sure they just keep adding extra numbers onto this. What a lovely area of the park though, this is really nice. Arthur Palace. Really nice. Back round to the main street. Now we've all heard of Soaring over in California and over at Epcot and Walt Disney World and we've all heard of Soaring or if you've watched our Shanghai Disneyland vlog you will have anyway but have you ever heard of Soaring Dragon? Now this I believe is a flying theatre another one I feel like we've done so many of these the past couple of years Let's go and have a little look inside He's got to park his little uh, mobile up outside <laughs> So funny Let's have a little look in here some nice paintings on the wall. Oh. <laughs> Some sort of flying theatre. Quite a big key for this one it seems, but got to be done. that I mean this is the ride system for it look, look at this so if you're on that one there you're actually at the bottom and then this is the top one and obviously your middle row is the middle uh, but yeah the ride system is uh, not quite up there with the likes of soaring but the worst thing about that was for me I didn't realize you could still film like videos in 240p you know <laughs> try watching this vlog in 240p because that's what that looked like it was awful really like there's not even any positive you can say from that attraction um, yeah, it was a complete Chinese knockoff of it. And bear in mind, you've got the actual soaring with a G just down the road. Yeah, awful that was. Cue up for that. Cue up for that. Cue up for soaring. <laughs> yeah, the actual Good. soaring. Yeah, Fair not uh, not the soaring dragon. God, that was absolutely awful. I don't think there's any positive well, to say. All I can say is we've been in there nearly 34, 35 minutes. That oh, took a long time. Took a long time in the, the queue. Yeah, the actual attraction was a bit longer than soaring. Probably about just under 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, oh my god, that was awful. Really bad knockoff, and yeah, I didn't enjoy that at all. I don't like knockoffs, I like things with their own identity, really. Um, yeah, flying over the Great Wall, you got this dragon uh, blocking the shots half of the time. Yeah, it was not enjoyable at all. Didn't like that one. Can we go around again? No. Awful. coaster at this part, one that is actually open. We saw it earlier on, but the queue was huge. It's Wooden Coaster Fireball with a picture of the cyclone from Coney Island in New York for some reason. But well, there we go. Right, we're going to head on this one. Still a bit of a queue on the ramps just there, but not as bad as earlier on. Got some Chinese Coke, anyone? Chinese Coca-Cola, there you go. Let's go. Oh, no, not Justin Bieber. Quite a long key for the wooden coaster, it seems. All the way up these ramps. 
But there's something here what they have thought about, and that is benches and the queue lines. I mean, what a lot of parks should really look at doing. This is a really good idea. Not too sure if this is a one train or two train service. It seems to be moving quite slow. Not much action on the track, so yeah, I'd probably say one train. We'll soon find out, but it's a crowd. A crowd's a crowd, it's a wooden coaster. It looks lovely on the landscape, especially the other side of the lake. My second foreign wooden roller coaster as well. After Tonair. It's AS. You can ride at Asterix that. One of the first trips we did together, that. It was. Park Asterix. Wow. I believe it. Does it feel so long ago? It does, really? yeah. If you've never seen that vlog, go and check it out from Park Asterix. July and, uh, 2014. Yeah, when uh, me and Alex went on some big rides over there. And, Alex and I proved was, how religious uh, I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good trip that was, looking back. But this trip tops it, absolutely amazing. Today, out of all the vlogs that we've done, this has definitely been, today, one of the not best days I've had in a theme park. One of the worst days, I don't like saying it, but it has been one of the worst days I've had at a theme park. I appreciate the rides that we've got and we've seen some good stuff. I enjoyed Megalite a lot, I thought that was really good. I enjoyed the top scan, I enjoyed shoot the shoot, and I enjoyed the top spin, so it has been worth coming. And a soaring. Um, yes, <laughs> soaring dragon. Right. Uh, but overall, I do feel quite disappointed with this park. It's not quite what I expected. When you look at imagery and marketing material for this park, it looks like it's in the woodland. It looks a lot nicer than what it is. But when you're here, it's not quite up to scratch in my eyes. Still things like this queue line here. It's very dated and full into bits, basically. to see is actually about to happen. What the hell? We have just waited over an hour for this ride all the way down there and the mess about you know all these exercises before getting on i can't believe it this train here has been sat here now for about three minutes <laughs> absolutely ridiculous i've never known anything like that before it doesn't fit the theme it doesn't i just don't get it they also do something similar on the mega light six staff standing about no one's even loaded on the train yet there's over an hour's queue what's going on I really don't quite get it here. I really don't. <laughs> just can't believe that. Now, now, now why are we waiting? What, are we waiting? what the hell? What are they waiting for? Get them air gates open. Get off the karaoke, man. Get the air gates open. Come on. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? I do like the play on. enjoyed that, a brilliant one roller coaster. There were some very GCI style elements in there, and with it not being a GCI, uh, I was quite surprised with how it felt. It was a very, very good coaster that was. Really well paced, nice steep first drop, and there were some other steep drops all the way around the coaster actually, uh, that really made it. Hey, theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. I love it, we've had quite a lot of interaction over here, it's been so funny. Uh, but yeah, let's just talk more about that coaster. I mean, a really nice helix on that, and it was relatively smooth as well, it wasn't too rough. 
and yeah, I really enjoyed it. I give that a good eight out of ten. It was a great ride. I love another go on it, but the queue is just so long. It took over an hour. It's on one train, and with them dancing and them silly operations, I'm not going to give it a go. How was the Woody though? Loved it. I was really well paced really on the front yeah. row. The operations are dire though. Yeah, they are. Yeah. That much so that me and Alex have decided that we were supposed to be leaving this park tonight after park close at nine o'clock. However, we are actually going to leave the park early and we're going to leave at half past five today, mainly because we've nearly done everything what we wanted to do. And in terms of coasters, the amount of rides that have been shut, we decided to go and spend the evening back up at Shanghai Disney, not actually in the park, but just looking around the hotels and in Disney Town. Um, so yeah, that's why we're coming towards the end of the vlog. It's a shame I'd have liked to see the nighttime show, but I just don't think I can spend another five hours here waiting for the show, especially when a lot of the rides do actually close at 5.30 as well. What are we supposed to do from 5.30 until 9 o'clock? Go back you to know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Woody was really, really good, very enjoyable, but other than that, that and the Mega Light are the big highlights. I like the old Amity themed area over there, but... Yeah, this park's just not what I expected, really, and we'll sum it up more when we get to the end. But, uh, yeah. One more cred to get, though, that is open, the Zamperla spinning coaster, so we'll head over there and have a look. I do really like this themed area of the park. It's just a shame that the big mine train coaster by Intermin's not open. We've got the flying island around here though, I think we'll get some really nice views of the park from up here. Let's go and have a look. What a lovely area of the park. Off we go, time to get some nice views of the park. I really do like attractions like this. I also like transport rides. There's a little lack of transport rides here, but obviously you can hire the scooters. And there's also them little buses that go around the park as well. Oh, I love the views. Is the wooden coaster? Or the lake area around there? That mine train coaster was really good. It's a shame that we're not going to get to experience that today. It really is. I would love to have done that. Same with the dive coaster, obviously the same as Sheikha, but I still would have loved to have done it there, it is in the distance. That's Mega Life. That's the last credit that I can get today, what's actually open, so we're going to get that in a second before we wrap up our day. That water park looks huge, look at the size of it. Shame that it's closed really, it's massive, look at that, big wave pool over there, loads of slides. Some water's actually running over there, but there's no one in the park. That's a massive water park. Also, what a shame about the world's only B&M family invert. Was really looking forward to giving that a go today. and. I'm really surprised actually, you'd think with B&M doing such a custom ride for this park that I wanted to work with a park that uh, would respect and look after it and with this one it's a shame that it's closed. Obviously I understand that all these rides need maintenance but closing down four or five of your major rides at the same period is not good at all, especially when it's not advertised on the website. I know that these rides need maintenance, especially 365 parks but yeah it's disappointing today really, especially with it not being advertised. But I'm glad we've come to see it and we have seen some great rides as well such so as Shoot the Shoot. I really enjoyed the top scan, the top spin, the wooden coaster and the mega light. So there has been quite a bit that's been really enjoyable. At first I thought it wasn't worth it, but now we've been here and seen it, it was worth it. But I think uh, I'm ready to get back up to Disney, go and have a little look around and get up a bit more merchandise as well. Here we go, because everyone's going to be happy in life. Let's be happy at Happy Valley, come on. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Crazy. One, two, three, four. He by the he. 
That's got to be one of my highlights ever on Theme Park Worldwide. They loved it. One of my favourite songs, that as well, available in the gift shop. Be it's called Bee Ba Ba Bee Ba Ba. Here we are on the Zamperla. The last credit available. No air time for me. We've managed to get three credits out of seven. Not very good at all. It's the worst I've ever done on credit count, that is. Three out of seven, I God. I'm going to the plug, and I'm going to plug it. Uh, Theme Park Worldwide on VPN YouTube. <laughs> Here we are. Look at that mine train there. I would love to do that at some and point. Loki sat there. It's been gyro swing also closed today. Off we go. Quite a slow start. Used to a ravishing version. Here we go. Oh. All the standard layout, these. There's the flying island. Hello, everyone. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, you're a seaplane. I'm saying, I'm saying, you're singing that song. <laughs> Here we go. Always the highlight of these Magic Mouse spinning coasters. Oh, oh. oh these guys are loving it next door. Oh, yeah. They're loving it. Hey. Oh, 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 oh my like a, God. Like a shopping trolley with a wonky wheel. Let me bag up. Oh, here we go, get ready to spin. Oh no, not on this one, next one. Oh, it's gotta be. No, this one, this one, come on. Where's the spin? Now, surely. Why is there no spinning on this thing? It's supposed to be a spinning wild bounce. Oh, you bugger. A little air time. A little air time. Bugger. I've never really say bugger so many times. Oh, How was that? I'm trying, I'm trying not to use the ball's name in vain. <laughs> there we go. Great Q line interaction. I'm already going to hell. No coaster land for us, no creds available. Because guess what? It's system maintenance. Making our way down for the last ride of the day. Well, our day anyway. It's going to be Megalite. The Intamin Megalite here at the park. Still seems strange actually saying what the ride type is and then the name. Normally I'd be like, it's time to go on the parks, BM inverted roller coaster, it's Nemesis. But here I'm just like, it's time to go on the dive coaster, diving coaster. Not like I've said that anyway, because it's been closed all day. But you see where I'm coming from. Yeah, it's been an okay day. It's not very often I say that. Like I said, I try to make the best of things, and we have done to some extent today. We've got plenty of rides in. Alex has brought that blessing. We've had a good laugh at this part, and we've made the most of it, but let's just say I've got no plans in returning. Even if I come and do this Asia trip again, I would uh, rather go somewhere else than uh, spend the day here. But we'll sum it all up in a few minutes' time when we get down to the entrance. Let's just say one thing, this gift shop at the exit to Megalite isn't going to be selling much today. Look at this, we've got some ride photos, some mugs, some merchandise. I know it's just uh, empty, it looks like it's stuck in Christmas to be honest. <laughs> I do really enjoy Megalite, that was a really good Intamin Megalite. I uh, rode it quite a few times today, really enjoyable. Enjoyed it just as much there at the end as I did earlier on, however it was a little bit rougher. Uh, so if you want a smoother experience, because these Intamins, throughout the day, they can get a little bit rough. Uh, with that one, definitely do it in the morning. Uh, but by all means, if you don't mind a rough ride, which I know a lot of you viewers don't, uh, then definitely uh, stick about and uh, do it later on. It's a shame we haven't got the dive coaster called Diving Coasters today. And neither have we got the Intamin Gyro Swing, which is just round there as well. 
which I believe is the exact same model as Loki at Leesburg. So that means I've been stung twice really this trip, because obviously Loki over at uh, Leesburg, which didn't open until a week after, and then this one which I've not got, so I've still not been on one of these giant ones. It's crazy. There's only one thing missing on today's vlog. Go on. A sleeping man behind you on the bench. A sleeping man? Behind you on the bench. I don't think he's asleep, he's on his phone. Oh, yeah. He's on his phone. Well, that's what's missing from the vlog. Because he wants to be on diving coaster, that's why. Look at these views, though. Next time I ride this exact coaster will be Shikra, which will be coming up at some point. So stay tuned for another trip to Florida. As you just saw there by some of the footage, uh, there's a stunt show which was really, really good. To be honest, we didn't even have a clue that even existed, but there's not really coming around this area that much with the diving coaster being closed. Uh, we didn't know about it. But yeah, that looked really good. Lots of flame effects and gunshots and explosions. That looked really good, didn't it? <laughs> How good did that look? It was really impressive. I would have liked to have seen all of that, really, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? We didn't know. Timing. Timing is different yeah. the If you do come here, make sure you don't miss it. It's just down here on the main footpath down to Diving Coaster. On that note, let's go and have a little look back down the entrance. Main Street, USA. <laughs> well, Mickey Avenue. And, uh, yeah, have a little look at any merchandise and then make our way out. It's not very often that I've come to a new theme park and I don't feel sad leaving, but with this one, I really don't feel any emotion at all. It's a shame, but at least we've had a good day, the best we can of it anyway. And uh, yeah, the wooden coaster and the mega light, wow, fantastic. inside the official merchandise store. There we are. There's a mug. Now, I've said this throughout the day, we're going to stick by it. I won't be buying any merchandise from this park, mainly because we're about to go to Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea, and I want to save as much room as I can do for that merch. Normally, I'd go and buy a mug, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save it all for, for Disney Sea. Uh, cut on out, Joe. Yeah. Pin badges. Look at this. Quite a bit of merch. All the princess stuff. <laughs> Can I, Joe? <laughs> 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 T shirts. We see a lot yeah. of this post today, haven't we? We have, and we've also seen a lot of rubbish in these shops. Why are these on the Eiffel Tower? Come on. We're nowhere near Paris. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much sums up this park. Sound the Eiffel Tower in their main official theme park merchandise gift shop. Nothing will be purchased. I'll take plenty of maps and I'll uh, be giving away lots of maps. A map from every theme park on this trip. So stay tuned on social media in a few weeks' time when we get back. For the biggest giveaway in Theme Park Worldwide's history over on Twitter, am Instagram, I, and Facebook. Am I allowed to enter? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> no. So oh. sorry. You can enter, but you won't win, I can guarantee you that. Oh. So I'll take your name out the drawer, so. I like the drawer, it's kind of cool little system, I like I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Hot kid. And that is all from this park. Let's share our thoughts. So we've come to the end of our day here at Happy Valley Shanghai. I say the end of our day, we're cutting it a bit short by a few hours, but as you saw by the staggered openings at this park, 
um, then a lot of the rides are actually closing at 5.30 anyway, so to be honest, we're not missing much. I know the nighttime show looks great, it's got fire, fountains and all that, but we just can't stay here any longer, I don't think. We've, we've done everything we wanted to do what's been open. It's not, it's not being atrocious, but very loud audio then, I just, I don't know, it's a lovely park and there's so much more potential in it. I'm not leaving here disappointed, I'm not leaving here bored, I'm just leaving here wishing for more, I'd say. Wishing for a little bit more. I'm very different to Alex with this. I am leaving this park disappointed because four roller coasters have been closed today. What I wanted to get on, including two BMs, the family BM and, there was no and the dive coaster. And there's no signs. When I was buying my tickets here this morning, there was no signage at all displaying it. It's not on the website. You did not know until you walked into that park or went to the attraction. And I think that's wrong of a theme park, to be honest, yeah. Uh, I ain't going to complain about it, there's no point, because we've been in there, we've done And no one speaks English, so yeah, the complaint wouldn't get know, And even for email, there's just no point. I don't want to complain, I just would like someone maybe from this part to watch this and sort of see it from a guest perspective. In terms of things I liked at this park, the Megalite, brilliant. Really enjoyed that, the intimate Megalite, called Megalite. That was really good, I enjoyed Shoot the Shoot, that whole area was really nice, and the couple of flats we did there. A really nice area and of course the wooden coaster that was really good as well there's a lot of positive things at this park but now for some serious stuff we've traveled what 6,000 miles around the world and we've seen some of the best stuff me and Alex have both ever seen oh, haven't it, we? We really incredible. Have. it's been stunning check out our other vlogs to see that and it's also not very often that I leave a negative review here on theme park worldwide but I think it's out of my best interest to say if you are doing a similar trip to this then unfortunately happy Valley Shanghai it is one part to miss. If you've got unlimited time, then do it by all means. But me, I'm leaving here sort of feeling like, you know what, I, sh I could have gone somewhere else. I could have either gone back to Shanghai Disney or had an extra day over in Japan on the next part of the trip. Any, anything and everything. I mean, yeah. we, we, to be fair, we have been very well, very good at planning this trip and we have been doing it for so long. Um, since Christmas Day 2016 to be precise, yeah, and, and that's when we actually booked everything. It's the first big blow, isn't it, really, for us? And, and it's a shame it's had to happen when we've got here. I mean, if it had been announced a month before, at least we could have gone, oh, you know, what a shame, but we can plan around that to get here on the day, see a sign outside of the attraction after we've got there, and then realise four out of the seven main roller coasters are closed. Yeah, it was sad, disappointing. and along with some of the flats as well. It's a shame, but... Some, some elements of this part, incredible. Some lovely like, the theme, isn't they, yeah. on, I've not been disappointed with, except for snoring, or boring, as I'm going to yeah, that uh, um, soaring dragon was interesting. But Cotton Eye Joe plays on the end. If you Cotton like Cotton Eye Joe, Joe, ready? If out in the bin, Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah, it's, but this part is just not what it was billed to be from looking at promotional images either. I felt like it's just not lived up to expectations. But we've had a good laugh, and bless Alex for buying a mobility scooter for the day. So we've had a bit of fun. So for we? me, I just feel like I've just woken up. I'm full of energy. It's great. <laughs> we've had a good laugh, but I'm not leaving here with any desire to return. Will there be another vlog? on this channel from this park who knows what the future may hold but let's just say i've got no plans at this present moment to come back even to get the rides we didn't do what i am lucky though what, what we're both lucky for really is the fact that the mega light was open and the woody two rides that are unique to this park oh, and at least the dive coaster with something what we can get well we've done so many dive coasters anyway but this one in particular it is just a clone well, of sheep right loved it yeah really very yeah, really good yeah, yeah absolutely incredible it shows why i did a little like, entrance show at the start uh, which was good and yeah lots of street theater as well around the park little things that a lot of the uk parks miss out on but mm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't respect. No, no, neither would I. But uh, we've done it, we've been here, we've done it, we've not bought the t-shirt, but uh, yeah, there we go. I just want to point out, this park opened back in 2009, which means it's not very old at all, is it? No, it's not. It is crazy. I, I half of the attractions from 2009 as well. The, I believe the most recent sort of main in, instalment was actually the family b and um, SLC. Well, SLC? Well, I was just about to go into detail on what I mean. The, the, the SLC style, I was going to say, uh, sure B&M yeah. <laughs> Coaster. Yeah. But, uh, I can't believe we didn't get to do that. 2014. It's a long time ago, guys. You get some more acquisitions in this part. I'm at Mega Coaster. Hyper Coaster, do something, please. I don't even think it needs that. I just need to sort out what you've got. And operations. And operations, yeah. I mean, they were a little bit. Operations have been all awful. They really have. I mean, that whole dancing, limbering up before getting on a ride. I mean, what, at yeah, least I feel pretty get people up, what, waiting lie, to go. Like, 
I feel like well, I'm I don't. in a boxing ring and start having a match. It's worth pointing out that our mission fee for this part wasn't too expensive, though. It was only, what, back end of 20-odd quid, so not too bad. 28, 29 quid, I think it was, to get in, so and not too and bad. Don't, and don't let us finish this vlog and feel like you, you've kind of just watched us be negative about things. Let, let me leave you on something positive. So, um, I, try, I tried cage fighting, and I can tell you one thing. Those budgies are very vicious. <laughs> Thank you. On that note, Alex, that's it from China. That's it, I know. We're done. China is finished. And we're going over to Japan, we're which is going to be Japan. amazing, isn't it? Crazy. It's going to be so good to get out there and uh, and go and see it, because we've got some great parks planned, including Fujiku Highlands, uh, which has got a closure which we know about, which is the Domba. We know about that, we've known for ages. We even booked the trip knowing that that was going to be closed. Uh, but overall, it's been an all right day. We've made the most the of it. The weather's been nice. weather's been nice, and I've got another vlog for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope we've not been too negative, but I just don't want, I'm not going to lie and polish it if I don't think it's great. I don't want you guys coming all the way over and thinking, oh, well, Sean said this was good, this was good, this was good, and it actually wasn't. Uh, so we've been very honest about this today focus on the positives uh, but we've also shared them negatives with you as well so thank you very much for watching been a good day and we will uh, see you again soon here on the bar worldwide from happy valley shanghai that means it's time to cue those credits goodbye i'm a billy scooter back it's gone gone mate